I can actually see Twitch chat now. It's not just lagging on me. Nice. Because before I was getting it up on my phone and it was just kind of like, I'm not going to It's not a great experience on the phone, no. Alright, we are off and running. So, Progress, Hypershock, Yami Ramis, and Arboretic are racers for this fourth race. Let's see how they get on. Mm -hmm. Hypershock does look okay. like he's on the wrong seed. Oh no! That's also my nightmare scenario. My nightmare scenario, I, I start on the wrong seed and someone tries to tell me and I sit there and I race out God knows how long until I realize I'm on the wrong seed. <laughs> I always like double, triple check it. I'm so scared of entering the wrong seed. Yeah, the smart thing to do is to just download my little copy paste thing and then you can just copy paste seeds straight from Discord. It's great. <laughs> Use my programs. Basically, yeah. I they're, work so hard to code They're good programs, them. Brent. <laughs> Alright, that gave me just enough time to fandangle all my windows. Ooh, that, that totally threw me off. Someone you can see there, um... Their mouse I mean, see, yeah, I it's always. It was, I thought it was bit. mine. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, hang on, why are there two of these? Which one's mine? This is imposter. Alright, our racer's off and running again. All of them on the right seed this time. Yay. I love when all the racers are on the right seed. Good old curse potion. No one really likes that item, do they? No, it's 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 not great. It has its uses, but it's generally so an item you wanna you wanna avoid. Because the stream is so smooth, yeah, it does stream at 60 FPS, which is always nice. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty tasty. Not as not as uh, not as clean not as, as cheesy as potatoes, cheesy, yeah. but. Uh, it's it's a thought that counts. Oh, it looks like Progress is going to farm up a little bit of money and try and get something out of this Conjurer. It is 1-3, so could get a decent weapon if that's what you want to go for. Definitely, definitely. It's good to keep in mind what, uh, what level... How, how would you refer to the, the denominations of its own, I guess, level? Good. Keep in mind what bit you're at, so you know what what the conjurer is gonna give you. Nothing that feels worse than when you're uh, trying to get your uh, blood shop on one one, and it turns out to be like I think you can get a transmute, I guess, on uh, on one one. Yeah, you can get a transmog in one one. It's just yeah, and that's not worst. that's not gonna give you anything good. Yeah. Yeah, 1-1 one, one Conjure or Transmog, you're pretty much guaranteed total crap. Floor, floor, floor. Oh, you're totally right, it is floor. I love when I can't remember the terminology we use. I like how they refer to it as depth and level, but we're like, no, no, no. It's, it's a floor. A, it's the floors and zones. Yeah, surprised that we kind of saw depth just kind of stick around. They were just like, yeah, well, I mean, why would we change it? Because it originally Ow. came in, because when we first, when the testing group originally got, like, the first test build way, way, way back, um, you could, you had all five zones, but you would only play four, and they would be in a bit of a random order. You could either start in zone one or zone two. Um, oh, what? No way. And then oh, wait, how could, far back was this? This, oh, this would have been, like, towards the kind of start of the year. Um, and I think that lasted maybe a week, if that, before That's we so were like, wacky. please change this. You blame Aria for this? No, no, no. This was <laughs> this wasn't Aria's fault. Always before fully amplified. Oh, really? Yeah, the first DLC build. It was. Wait, first DLC build. They let you. I'm sorry. Can you repeat one more time what it was that? So the it first. Wasn't testing DLC build we got. Okay. 
Um, the ah, oh, progress going down again. Ish. Okay, fun. The uh, the zones were in a bit of a random order. You only played four to five of them, <laughs> so <laughs> there was a chance that you maybe just wouldn't play the new zone. Oh wow! E oof. Yeah, oh, exactly. So they they were like, oh, it's going to be too long a run. Was their initial <laughs> thought? I, I understand. Like, I understand where they're coming from with that. But man, it was. You could just end up with a with like. You're gonna be like, oh, I hope I don't get zone four because that's the longest zone. Yeah, exactly. Generally, it was zone three was the one you kind of wanted to avoid by virtue of uh, it just oh, being yeah. kind of unmappable. But yeah, yeah it was <laughs> it was a very short lived experiment. Thank goodness. So <laughs> when we say this game went through a lot of changes before you guys got your hands on it, we weren't kidding. And yeah, having to start in zone two was just it was awful. Just like cool, so I have my base. Oh, build starting in zone and two. Everything Ooh. has a ton of health, and it takes oh, that me sounds three horrible. years to kill it. Yeah, no, that really does not sound fun at all. I mean, starting zone two would be too long a run. You are totally right, Siv. Alright, so a quick update on our racers. We've got Progus just jumping down to uh, DM1 here. We've got Hypershock on 3 2. Three. Yep, everyone else in zone 3. Hypershock on 3 2, Arboretic in 3 2, and Yami just jumping down in 3 3. Oh, nice little find there, Heart Container. I forgot there's transmute tomes. I feel like I don't really see those. Yeah, you don't see them too often. Uh, generally, you're more likely to see. I don't know whether you're actually, as far as item chances go, <laughs> Rody, you're more likely like... to see them. Yeah, see like Earth Tome and Fireball Tome and that kind of thing. Freeze and Shield Tome see, as well. You're just you're just more likely to pick those up and remember they're there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. People picking transmute up their tome? transmute what tomes and then this? not using it. You don't even use a regular old transmute spell. Alright, for Tissimal here for Yami, nicely done. And picked up a ring of piercing as well towards the end of that zone 3, which is a really nice find. Check in purple. Eh, yep, keep the piercing. Yeah, especially going into zone 4, this is going to let you just take out Blade Masters without even thinking about it, which is crucial. Piercing is really nice on zone 4, and zone 5 too, I'd say. Yeah, being able to get rid of arcs as well is just wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Piercing is a good ring, I'm a big fan of it. You're rolling bad shops is great. Yeah, no, transmutes are like a really interesting spell and it has a lot of good uses. It's just really hard to remember to actually use. Oh, good use of the freeze there. Oh, was that a freeze Tom? No, or was that the was that a frost term? I'm not sure. It said greater freeze above a uh, above Yami's head. Regardless, really nice shop, some cookies and uh, and a bunch of bombs via that blast helm. Oh, the Hello Monkey here in this 4-2. It's getting a little bit spicy. Has to be a little bit careful. Taking some hits. Taking a bunch of hits. Down to bat form. Okay, now you have to oh, be no, really no, no. careful. Oh gosh, that's a little spooky. Oh, bat went back to uh, Nocturna form just to use the cookies. All right. Okay, All right. that's fine. And you're confused. Honestly, if you're confused, maybe just stand still after a situation <laughs> like that. That's exactly what I'd be doing. Hits the warlock there and takes damage off of the skeleton as well. Yami maybe just needs to take a deep breath and wait for a second. You don't want to get yourself and you don't want to get yourself too flustered. Yami seems yeah pretty just disoriented. I would be too. All right, that cheese find is nice. All right, manages to get that pixie as well. So back up to full health here. But uh, let's see, Hypershock on 4-2 here. So trying to close the gap on Yami and Arboretic not too far behind. About to finish up this 4-1. And oh, has killed his shopkeeper so won't get that blast helm or torture walls. That uh, you can see both Yami and Hypershock have. Oh no, those are good items. Yeah, remembering your build is really, really hard. 
And I'm always really impressed when I see people who are used, especially like weird items to remember, like transmute, actually remembering to use and take advantage of them. Yeah, the lesser used ones. Or you'll see someone use a shuriken really efficiently. Oh yeah, that's always that really impressive. I, I, I never know when to use shurikens. Uh, the kind of key thing to keep in mind is piercing. They're really useful on bosses because they're similar-ish to bombs in the way that you can use them on the bosses. Uh, oh, Hypershock's going to hit the boss shrine here. I'm not really sure I agree. It's nice to have the plus one on the uh, on the rapier for sure, but uh, I don't know. A little bit ropey. You have that ring of frost, so a bit unnecessary, I think. Did get a holy water as well, but yeah, I don't know. Not a fan of that decision, personally. But uh, Hypershock is down onto Kaora 4 here. Aberetic not far behind in the exit room of this 4-3. But uh, Yami just absolutely tore through this zone 5 onto 5-3. And now uh, we have Progus kind of in the back just starting this zone 4 now. And alright, we've got Frankenstein we here for Yami and has plenty of damage, has kind of the uh, the armor you want as well for this fight uh, in the quartz armor. Yeah, I'd say. Gonna be useful. And this ring of piercing is gonna do a lot of help as well. <laughs> you want nothing to do with uh, with skeleton knights. Oh no, skeleton knights just suck. I'm gonna use the bombs on the orbs there. And one of the kind of the key things to note in this fight is, so if you have, if you just like push the buttons and you keep the orbs alive, when you get into this phase of the fight, could the conduct, not conductor, for Frankenstein weight even, will teleport to the furthest away orb that you can. So if you take, if you destroy all the orbs, it's just, it just becomes random. So when you lower his shield, uh, and then do damage and then you kind of you know you see a move across the map if there are no orbs on the field we'll just move to the furthest possible away one uh, and if there's no orbs then it's just random it keeps throwing me off that his uh, sprite is 4x4 four four, because I keep on being like oh they're hitting him oh right that's a 4x4 four four sprite yeah biggest sprite in the game it takes a little bit of getting used to as well just how big it is Frankenstein weight is a big boy, a big boy. All right, and we're on to the conductor phase two here. Using to see up those bombs. Yep, four of those bombs taking out those batteries. That's so many bombs. Yeah, all gone now. You would now. need so many bombs for uh, to, if you just wanted to take these all out. Yeah, it looks like it's four per battery, so you'd need four, eight, and then you would need twelve to get all five yeah. batteries with just bombs. Yeah. But just the one wire left did miss a, a potential water ball on one of the wires, unfortunately. But here's a water here's ball one. coming, and it's just going to kind of trap it. There we go. Yeah. Well done from Yami. He's going to be the first to finish here. And Beautiful, the, yep. That's finished. Yep, really well done. And now the rest of our four racers are going to get done. And a yeah, hypershock they, on... Finishing up on Slingway. Yep, you can see that uh, that ring of frost just a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> you just hit Frankenstein with once and then again, and you can just do that a couple of times. And it's great, and it's wonderful. Uh, Arboretic on Slingway. Yep, doesn't have quite as a uh, doesn't quite have all the easier way to deal with it. Yeah, exactly. Gonna have to do this more the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way, given that this boss is only like a few days old. Quote unquote old fashioned. Has to be careful taking a couple of hits here. It does have the heavy plate, so it's not quite as bad, but you know, you gotta be careful of these arrows. And also a Frankenstein with himself, he will hit you like a truck. He is a truck. The Frankenstein way 150. Alright, now we've got progress going on down on the same way. Yep, we've got Hypershock already in phase two of the fight, so we're really gonna race through. Uh, 
phase one here and putting uh, putting himself in a scary situation went a into bat form for some reason and just gonna and blast just <laughs> hell this last battery away just no 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 Absolutely. don't want to deal with that there we go so it was some very panic fast bombing i liked it it's gone now yeah the bat form <laughs> back to nocturna form and then uh yeah so finish from hypershock gonna take second place arboretic dealing with phase one here down at half a heart though gonna have to be careful here a little scary Oh, and that, <laughs> that confused uh, me. confused me. Not doing him any favors. No! Okay, <laughs> just, just gonna work through the confuse this time. But, uh, oh no, looks like progress went down on Frankensteinway, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, didn't see that. Yeesh. All right. Oh, oh, and down goes Arboretic. I couldn't even see where Arboretic Sprite was for the it last kind of five seconds. It was down near the seconds. bottom. It was All bad, right. I think. Yeah. Nasty. Oh well. So I think we're gonna see our. Uh, yeah, we're gonna see our other two racers at forfeit. Uh, we're at yeah. fourteen fifteen now, so it would be a bit of an ask to get back there quite that quickly. Yeah, these are some really difficult.